Hello, welcome to your morning mana. I'm Anna and this week we're all aflutter with love. While everyone around us may be looking for somebody to love, we're taking this week to examine the quality of our love by comparing the actions of our lives with what the Bible describes as loving actions. We're doing that looking at 1 Corinthians 13 verses four through seven. We're taking each day, we're taking a little bit of that verse and unpacking it so that we can get really practical about whether or not we're loving. So let's look at the passage again. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Today, we're gonna look at this portion that says, love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. Envy, what does that mean? Envy is jealousy which means it deals with the heart. So today, love is dealing with our heart. See, when we're jealous of others, here's the deal. It's really an accusation against God. Well, what do I mean by that? See, when we look at what someone else has and we feel like we should have it, like it should be ours, that it's something we're entitled to but we don't have, it may seem innocent on the surface. But think about this. One of God's names is Yahweh Jireh, the Lord who provides. So when we believe we should have something that we don't, we're believing that God has withheld something from us. And this isn't just an accusation that he doesn't do what he said he'll do. This is his name. It's an accusation that he isn't who he says that he is. Psalm 84 11 says, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. So if he hasn't given you something, it's not a good gift for you. He doesn't withhold good gifts from his children. That's jealousy. Now, it also says that love doesn't boast. So envy deals with our hearts and boasting deals with our words. To boast is to talk with excessive pride or self-satisfaction about oneself. Listen, you were fearfully and wonderfully made. God did a good job when he made you. Share the good things that God has done for you and accurately describe yourself to others. You don't have to deny your accomplishments. But be careful not to brag as if you're the one responsible for your success in life or for your life circumstances. Remember, it's God who gave you the gifts and talents that you have. He's the one who gives you honor and favor. So if you're gonna boast, boast in what he's done for you. Now we're also talking about the next part, which says love is not arrogant. Arrogance deals with our attitude. So, so far we've dealt with our thoughts, we've dealt with our words, now we're dealing with our attitude. Now, I love that the NIV calls arrogance pride. I don't wanna talk about this for a moment because when we talk about boasting, we think about boasting in our excellence and our accomplishments, and we think about pride there. But pride is any thought about ourselves, whether too high or too low, that contradicts what God says about us. Most of the time we think about pride thinking too highly of ourselves, but pride can also mean thinking too lowly of ourselves. I'm gonna use the same reminder for this that I did about boasting. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. God did a good job when he made you. When we live with the thought that he made a mistake when he made us, we're calling something that he calls good, bad. We can't love others if we haven't received his love for us. Now finally, love is not rude. This deals with our actions toward others. Are we offensively impolite or ill-mannered toward people we interact with? Remember, Jesus said, we will be known as his disciples by the way we love one another. That means our responses to others 
on our bad days and on our good days, reflect our hearts toward Him. Sometimes love is a battlefield. How do we win it? 2 Corinthians 10.5 says, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. We've dealt with our thoughts, we've dealt with our words, which thoughts become words, which become actions, whether to ourselves or to other people. Today, let's do a heart check. Are our thoughts and actions lined up with love? I'll see you again tomorrow for Morning Manna.